Welcome back to uh, turn 22 and this time action 2 of this let's play of Birthright the Golden's Alliance. Let's see, where do we have our regent? My liege. Here. We've been on an adventure and that means My liege, I hear and sort of obey. Your the highness. regent's army gets moved around a bit. Yes. So I just want to reorganize them, and yes. then I, I realize that ro that our uh, dwarven priest, Rotrokhammer, uh, was also part of the adventure, and we want again to put him as well at the top of his uh, army, just so we don't get confused. Remember where th where people are. Also, I think if uh, I think the people at the top of the army are just just. I think they might be less likely to be assassinated uh, or, or mass destroyed. Uh, certainly, um, if you auto count battles, uh, things, people will start dying from bottom up. So first the archer, then the other archer, and so on, so on, so on. So put put your lieutenants at the top; they're less likely to die in an auto count situation. Um, the reason why I wanted to find Ruach Rokama was that yeah, you can see suddenly he's got a bloodline of 111 points. And that's because he was actually the guy who, on the previous turn, picked up the State Crown of Anwar, which gives the whole of 70 bloodline points. Now, he can't really do anything with that. He doesn't really gain any regency, so we should give it to our regent. Instead, Deirdre and Alum, the Duchess of Alamy, here she is. And now she's got a bloodline of 116 points, which is pretty darn good. Uh, let me just compare to the Gorgon. He's got 100 points, so our bloodline is now stronger than the Gorgon. Wow. That's one amazing item right there. It's going to boost our Regency per turn by something amazing. Uh, Eleni doesn't probably like me much now. Um, 40%. Tegas has declared war on me. That's uh, probably because... I think they must have an alliance with the Rove. And they're on our, on our border, actually, in there. So we want to do something about that. Um... My oh, we've got a Goblin Archer in there? Your Highness? Consider it done, Your my Highness. Lead. It shall I be done. done. Your Highness? Got yeah, rid of that sure. long ago. But, uh... Sure, we can... It put it on the border with Rove, yes, just like yes, this Archer. What's Rove's army? Uh, lots of gnolls, goblins, and a few skeletons, and then Rove himself what? with... And yeah, have a not that bad. Who so eagerly for death. And if they do attack, uh, these guys are at least gonna delay their invasion forces, make sure they can't get any further than in there. Uh, the Gorgon and Merkelite, of course, declared war on us. We should probably do something about that as well. Um, but we can't invade them until we declare war as well. So, let's see. What kind of armies are in here? That's a fairly big Gorgon's Crown army. It's got some skeletons down there. Those are some modestly big armies. Um, I have to choose now. Do I attack Merkillard? Or the Gorgon in here? I think actually it was Merkillard who declared war on us, wasn't it? It's shown we don't like that much. Let's send Carolyn Allum with the Knights of Alamy. Five Knights, an Archer, Carolyn Allum at seven units. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is a full army. Yes, my lady. And, uh, yep, the enemy can't attack across there because we've got those provinces warded, so we don't have to worry about this army, basically. Uh, have they declared war on the shield? It doesn't look like it. It does not look like it. This is cool. Because what I'm going to do is on the second action, I'm going to declare war. 
a Killard in return. Join me, there's so many of them, <laughs> the game doesn't even bother listening. Morgan's assassinating somewhere. Right, oh, Rove is attacking now. It's Rove Maslayer himself! Attacking Desiree, no, our Goblin Arches can't hold against that. Of course they can't, so, uh, let's not command this. And they simply pull out, of course. It's your turn. But the rogue can't couldn't go any further than that, of course, on that turn. So we need to uh, retaliate, of course. Send an army, deal with them. And uh, let's see. What's he got? Mortals, I've tolerated you for Yeah, it's an annoying, annoying army, but it's not that big. Um. I think it's time for our yes, regent, regent herself Consider it done, regent. to deal You're with busy. this sudden threat to her home territories. Uh, your Highness? Yes, regent. regent. I'll do it soon. Yes, your Highness. Your bidding. Right, goblin Sorry, arches. Um, I'll get on there, regent. Right away. I was of kind of rather hoping to put the your bidding, my liege. It human done, archers my liege. in of here. Course, your Is there room for the goblin archers as your well? Yes, your no. Your bidding. So this army is going to wholesale march. Consider it done, Regent. Um, does it rain? My liege, as you wish. And. Wow. It's my relationship to two or an Because they've got troops in there. I'm not sure. I'm a little worried about that. Uh, I didn't... It's not like they declared war or anything, so I must be allied to them somehow. Okay. Uh, obviously, I don't want Rove to retreat down here or, or, or something, so I need some troops, let's see. And for example, in Alan's Rift, I can muster an archer there. And maybe my golden notcher can move yes, down do there, so I can't retreat down there. Crielli and Turnan are keeping him from retreating in there, unless he's developed some kind of nasty alliance with them. So I'm going to also raise a unit, both in Hilden and in Alarine. It's not like I can't afford it. Just to avoid annoying consequences here. And then Merculard. You'll be facing the Knights of Alamy, and a somewhat different wish. tactics from what perhaps has been seen of me in this Let's Play so far. Oh crap, they declared war on Sh Shieldwood. Uh, that means this army, if it retreats, Drop might be able to majesty. retreat down there, for example. Yes, I uh, don't really want that. Your Let's bidding. see, I've got some elves here, yes, actually. My, lead. my bet is the Shieldwood isn't yes, going to be your as annoyed about... A couple of extra elves in their territory. As you wish. Yes, region. As humans. Yes, region. So we'll put it for humans as well. Now these should be well surrounded. And what to do on this turn? Um, lots of things I could do. Primarily, I worry about. Yes, Regent. You're bidding, my liege. Hilden. I think actually I'm going to fortify Hilden, build a little castle there. Just in case Turnen starts doing something funny. Ooh, Aaron is contesting the south and north whale, but I'm not giving up my powerful source nowadays. If I can help it. Success modified by opponent. Or oh, they really want to wreck that thing. Well, I'm going to spend regency against them because I'm going to get lots of Did regency next turn. Did not succeed. Not swearing fealty to you, and not to you either. 
And here it's the Knights of Alamy, commanded by, uh, what's his name? Carolyn Alarm against the forces of the Gorgon in Murky Lard and Fallen Rock. And you're going to see a slightly different, slightly more risky strategy, which can win battles fairly quickly. Yes. I'm going to simply yes. deploy my yes. knights, which are much more expensive, Order. of course, than, yes. than archers, uh, and can take yes. some rather terrible losses yes. sometimes, but I'm going to yes. deploy them. I'm going to charge yes. the enemy straight yes. on, and then rather than uh, hoping, waiting for the uh, knights to sort of kill off everyone, which often doesn't work. I'm going to simply fill up with archers behind the knights. This is the risky bit, because it means those knights have nowhere to retreat to if I decide I, uh, they start taking lots of losses. So far they've done fairly well, and then I simply swarm the field. And I only killed five of the enemy units, so let's hope now... What happened to them? What happened to them? Where'd they go? <laughs> I was hoping to destroy them, to, to, to annihilate them, and that seemed to fail. Oh well. So it's our regent against Rove Manslayer. The enemy got to choose the territory. I think they picked an open field. Fine. We'll risk putting our regent and our wizard on the field, along with a bunch of uh, archers. By your command. Rove is a nasty unit, as you can imagine and see. I'm gonna. Archer, ready your ready your orders. Yeah. Move back. Ready ready. Use my ready. increased, yes. my sort of superior numbers of uh, wizards Archer's against him, and keep my units command. moving as much as I can. Keep Archer's them from getting uh, blasted by Rove's Region? superior spells. Our position. Yes. Is it now? Let's see if we can't uh, try and fight him in melee. That way he can't at least cast any spells. In the meantime, we will cast spells. Let's see if we can't put another elite infantry on the field against those Iregs. Cone of coal. More spells. More spells! That's it. Okay, and I'll put that one out and put a priest on the field. Uh, same here, I'm gonna put... Don't I have another priest? Yep. Put a priest on the field. Try and deal with those skellies. Effective. This priest isn't going to do much, so I'll get you out of there and put some archers on the field in there. To Cone of Cold, blast the Goblin Cavalry with fireballs then. That was more effective. Okay, it seems we need that other priest anyway. Get back onto the field. Wow! Our priest, Tiberi Darmian, didn't... I think he actually... Uh, Sent Rove himself packing. That's not bad at all, is it? You're in a tenuous position in there, Mr. Archer. Archer Very the tenuous yes. indeed. Yes. Get you I'll out of there. Now, turn on dead. You get out of there. Move the priest in where he can turn the other undead and we'll put some more archers Regent. on the field. Uh, where's Rove Manslayer? His own. All alone, sitting in there. Yes. Do you have flame strike? Yes, you do. Yes. And we've got archers. We should outnumber them by enough to win. Now we'll put the regions on the field. There we go. Didn't lose any units, I think. Rove is just going to retreat, of course. And hello! Congratulations, Deirdre Nalam. You've achieved your birthright by gaining enough power to ascend to the Iron Throne and be recognized as the Emperor, or I suppose Empress of Anwar. And you play the hard realm. I'm the hardest of them all, really. The hard realms in the medium game setting. The guy in red on Deirdre Nalam's uh, left, uh, to the right on the screen, is Kalyan Dozier, the uh, chan Chancellor of the Realm or something who uh, crowned a new emperor, hooray, so yeah.
Dedrin Alam is now the Empress of Anwea. Is that cool or what? Uh, that means, in a way, I've won the game now. Uh, because I have the report of the holdings of your realm and those of your peers. More than 400 victory points, which is on medium setting. What you need to to become emperor. Right. I am now the emperor, Empress of Anwar. In your face, Gorgon. And look at yeah. <laughs> Actually, my domain power is now smaller than my bloodline strength. Despite all the advances I've made, I've now got a, such a strong bloodline with that uh, crown of Anwar uh, that actually I need to expand <laughs> to get as much regions as I can every turn. As for the let's play, I mean I have uh, theoretically sort of won the game now, at least the first sort of part of it, the race for the Iron Throne. I am now the Empress. Um, and I think that's maybe uh, a natural place to take a little bit of a break in the Let's Play. Uh, is the Gorgon contained uh, temporarily? He still has an ally somewhere, we don't really know where. So he's got one card that he can still play. Uh, but for now I think this is a logical place to stop. So I'm not saying uh, the uh, Let's Play is going to be completely over. I uh, May and I think I probably will return to it at least to figure out where the uh, Gorgon's ally is. But for now, Dedrin Alum has been crowned Empress, not just Duchess of Alamy, but Empress of the whole of Anwar, and has repelled an attempted invasion by Rove. What? Another mortal who hungers so eagerly for death. She has trapped the Gorgon in his own uh, realm, taken away his goblin allies of Markizor, started an attack upon his dwarven ally in Merkilard. And someone has warded. Yeah, Chaos has warded this province of, Shield, of the Shieldwood, apparently. And. Uh, Taken over the remnants of uh, Tuarhevel, which the Gorgon had, had taken. So basically, driven the Gorgon back to his own homeland, denied him his allies, and become Empress. And uh, that's quite an achievement, I'd say. And uh, she's now got the uh, yes. regalia to show for it, basically. So, yeah. One or two other comments uh, might be in order here um, about Alamy itself as a land. I mean, it's supposed to be the hardest of all the realms, um, and it's got its difficulties. It's got sort of big, powerful realms around it everywhere. Gore in its southeast is a pow powerful, supposedly fairly aggressive realm. Uh, Turanen in the west is its sort of main rival. It's kind of wedged right in the middle between Rove in there, the Spiderfell in there, and the Gorgon's allies in there. It's sort of bang in the middle of a three major on Shailen. However, I don't really think it's at all the hardest realms of them all to play. First of all, they've got a pretty good bloodline. Even without the uh, uh, the Crown of Anwar, which adds 70 points, she would have 46 and a bloodline, and that's good. That's very good. I think Dozone has 46 uh, and as well, and Tuarhevel has 55, and that's as good a bloodline as you're going to get in the game, unless you're going to stop playing some of the non-player character elves. Which you can't, unless you're using some form of mod or, or something. Uh, it's got the five peaks to its north, yes, certainly. And that's another evil, vicious, uh, aggressive realm that it has to contend with. Um, 
and the Gorgon comes knocking on Alami's doorstep fairly quickly. I suppose the main difference between Alami, which is supposedly the hardest, and Tuanen, which is supposedly just hard, is that Tuanen is a bit further removed from the Gorgon. The Gorgon will have to march through Alami first before it becomes a threat. Um, on the other hand, Tuanen borders both Rove and the Five Peaks directly. And has just as many powerful uh, other lands on its borders, like Bow Ruin and Avenel. The biggest uh, non player uh, realms, perhaps, with the exception of Gore. And Moria, to its east, is never really Alami's problem because they tend to get caught up in, in wars with the Gorgon fairly quickly. Uh, so, of course, I've been playing this in a rather special way. I've just been focusing everything on attacking the Gorgon, and I've been using all the tricks of the trade, adding hiring lieutenants and uh, shamelessly uh, hiring non-landed realms to help me out in return for uh, holdings which they lose the minute they swear fealty to me. Uh, but um, that's just the best way to get to grow big and powerful, really. So I don't think Alami is the hardest realm at all. It is hard, and I am happy with my results here, picking a hard realm. Um, but it's not the hardest. Which is the hardest? Well, Eleni has, has a terribly t tough position as well. On, right on the border of the Gorgon. Also on the border of Gor and Moriad, like uh, Alami. The southern border on the Zord. Uh, another fairly big realm, and then... Uh, a border on, on Coronis, which tends also to become big and powerful. And the big difference between Alani and Alami is that Alani has very little money. It's, I mean, Alami isn't rich either. I suppose Turanen has perhaps an easier time setting up trade routes and stuff. But uh, Alani feels more constrained to play often. Alani 2 has a really good bloodline. I think they have as, as good a bloodline as, as Alami, really. So that's not a constraint there either. Uh, Turnan may, be, in fact, be more and more difficult in some ways. Uh, but then uh, Turnan can wait more and take its time and not worry so much about the Gorgon. Alani tends to get invaded by the Gorgon in immediately if you choose to play Alani. Uh, if you don't, Alani often. the Gorgon often bothers with everybody else, but the, the play character picking Eleni usually results in the player character getting attacked by the Gorgon. Uh, obviously the Elven Realms to the north have a difficult time because they're also bang on the borders of the Gorgon. So that's kind of difficult to play. But I'd say the most difficult land is probably Eleni. Because they're kind of poor. Don't make that much money. They really have to manage their resources very carefully early, early on to be able to get to build those uh, alliances with independent re holdings and so on that they need. And they don't really have any magic either. Uh, unlike uh, the like the Shieldwood, which have you know, excellent uh, magic and can cast all sort of spells to, to, to trick the Gorgon with. Even Tuarevil has some decent spells that they can use. Um, and a very good bloodline, so I think Eleni is probably the weakest realm actually in the game. But for now, I've uh, become Empress, and uh, may not have an awful lot of time in the near future to record more episodes. So uh, if I pick up uh, the series again later, I hope you'll uh, join me for that. Thanks for watching, everyone.